In today's video, we're going to take a look at Lulu. Now, this has had a huge pullback and correction, and I did find a setup in this one. Now, actually, I added one more price relationship recently. What we have here is a combination of a 50% retracement of one swing, 618 retracement of another swing, and then there was a 100% projection of one of these prior swings uh, projected from here. And that gives us a cluster zone of 284.99 to 288.83. Now, the actual low today was made at, uh, well, let me just double check. I think it's 287.21. Let's see if I've got that correct. Yeah, 287.21. So that was directly within the zone. And it did start to trigger on the buy side. So it triggered to begin with, um, you know, on a five minute chart. Okay, and basically it triggers when we have the moving average crossover and also I like to see in the process of that crossover that you've also taken out a prior swing high. So in other words, you have um, had a pattern shift besides the crossover. So that was one buy signal. And then the other one is actually the aggressive swing trade trigger chart. It's hard to see, okay, but yeah, now you can kind of see it. So it did have the crossover at the end of the day. So this is the way that I have to look at it. Um, you know, if we're going to continue to rally, basically, I don't want to be a, a buyer of this new high, but I do want to look at the next pullback on the intraday chart. So typically what I'll do is take, um, you know, like 100% of these prior declines projected from any new high and then also run the retracement. But, you know, what we don't know yet for tomorrow is, you know, is this high going to hold or are we going to have to run the pullback from a higher high? So I'm not going to give you the actual pullback right now, but that is um, something that you typically want to look for. And then you can define your risk either, you know, under the pullback zone once we identify it or underneath this recent low, which was made at, uh, what was that, the 287.21 area. Now the upside potential is pretty healthy if we can you know, clear important resistance on the way up. So just keep that in mind. And worst case, I'm wrong if it takes this out. Okay, so you always want to know where your stops need to be because this market's definitely uh, not very forgiving. <laughs> All right, that's it.